sorry about not having an Etowah. First of all, I'm very, very sorry about not having an Etowah as the best edge today, but there were some technical issues and copyright issues. So we will try and upload tomorrow, but I'm just a bit worried because I don't want to get a strike. So we'll have to see. Flow Sports obviously aren't being very nice, but they upload their one in French. So, you know, fair enough. But anyway, I thought instead I actually something, you know, decently exciting in my life actually happened uh, instead of just pros, um, which was my FTP test. Now, I don't, some of you knew a lot, probably don't know, but like two years ago in the summer, I am um, stacked up having a bite where it wasn't ideal. End up in intensive care, crashed quite badly. But anyway, so I was obviously very, very unfit. But at that point, I was I was pinging uh, five and a half watt per kilo FTP. I was, you know, had some form. And obviously, it's been quite a long story and long time in order to get back to fitness. So it was quite exciting today when I did my FTP test. I had a big, big January, big September. I was sorry, big January and big December. Uh, I did 20 hour weeks quite regularly. Um, my straw was linked below if you want to follow me. Uh, very much appreciated. Um, but anyway, so we did an FTP test today. I had like the three, the two times eight, um, just because I have a nice eight to 10 minute climb. Uh, pretty close to me. Um, so 357 for the first eight minute effort, 354, which gives an average of 355 watts, um, which, or 356, sorry, can't do math, somewhere in between there, which anyway gives me an FTP of 320, which at the moment of 61 kilos is 5.3 watts per kilo. So pretty happy to be honest. And I was like, you know what? I think this could be video worthy because like it's it's taken me quite a long time to get back. Like obviously this is what my numbers were before, 333, 59 gears or whatever. I was 61 by then, but you know, we just keep the keep the mass light. Um, but like, I guess the big thing I learned is that like, if we, if we look on probably the best visually way to look at it is actually on my Strava file. Um, and you'll be able to see that like, my training wasn't really very consistent. Obviously like the first thing back was uh, to be able to walk because obviously I couldn't walk because I broke my leg. Um, so you can see, obviously, it's quite stark. I was training a lot, I was racing a lot, got some good results. And obviously, this is the week I crashed. Um, I started to do, I basically, so I had most of July, August not doing much. I um, I did gym stuff, but I just didn't do any like cycling really um, until like this week um, when I actually started to, to ride a bit outside. I didn't record it on Strava, but I did do this. And then this is my first actual ride back, 11K. 30 minutes with my dad. It was, you know, it is what it is. But you can see here, obviously, it's not very consistent and stuff. And like, I didn't really make many gains, um, but obviously my main focus was just about walking. Um, and then when I did my first FTP test, uh, it was probably this week here, I reckon. Right, so, and I actually have found it. It was on the 21st of February and I did 300 watts for 20 minutes, which gives me an FTP of like 285, um, so something like that. So a fair way off, but like, to be fair, it was like, I hadn't been riding much. Um, it was, I did the 20 minute test, so here it was like 297 watts. It was actually like not a bad day out. I paced it all right as well. Um, but obviously that's, you know, I crashed in June the 24th, I think it was. Um, and this is like towards the end of February. So what's that, like eight, eight months maybe? Uh, six plus eight, no, nah, seven months maybe. Seven months, so like, you know, a decent amount of time, but nothing absolutely crazy. Um, and then you can see, you know, I was just building, building fitness and it, it came back pretty quick to be fair. Like, I think I did, an FTP test here again, which was 307 watts. So, you know, like it was pretty much 10 watts in about three, I had a decent three week block. Um, so I, yeah, I said here about 11 watts. So you can see like the fitness comes back pretty quickly. Um, and I did another FTP test. I didn't have a power meter for ages because my info crank kept falling off. Um, but eventually I did get um, a power meter back. So you can see I was training like a decent hours here, like 20, 20 odd hour weeks, um, which is, you know, pretty, pretty content about. Um, but yeah, this is my other 20 minute test. Um, but then after that, I didn't actually really do many. Um, I did one which said I was 310 in about December, I think. Um, but if we look here, here was a 20 minute test. Again, I did 311 watts, so it was only four watts higher, but I massively messed up the pacing. I did 320 for the first 12 minutes and then blew up. So it could have been a bit higher. But anyway, what you can basically see, uh, is that, you know, it takes quite a long time to get fitness back. And like, even with these big weeks, you know, 20 hour weeks here, 20 hour weeks there, it didn't really do it. And like hill climb season, I got very, pretty close. Some of the efforts I was doing there were really, really high. Um, I was I was really happy actually on some of the numbers that I was putting out um, because like they were, I wouldn't say equivalent of the ones before, uh, but if we look at this one in particular, um, it was, it was pretty good actually in terms of just the numbers. It was pretty similar to what I did when I was in top fitness. I was doing like five times, uh, sorry, 30 15s for like seven minutes 15 at 332 watts, which I was like 
pretty content and I was like that was sort of why I was doing it um at my peak maybe 340 but even so it was it was pretty good um but some of my hill climb results weren't great like I, I did hit my best ever six minute power I hit uh, 390 watts for 59 ki at 59 kilos so I think it was actually my best ever in terms of wattage I think I did 400 before for six minutes but I was heavier then I was about two kilos heavier um I did a two minute max test here it was like 480 watts at 59 kilos so again not not too shabby not too shabby um and I guess that that's my point is that like I was decently fit but wasn't crazy um but what I found to be really really important is just these lot like consistency and like hill climb season was my first time I was really quite consistent and there's summer I had like four weeks off when I had to do exams and I had this was pretty consistent but then I had a bit of time off but anyway so it was like not perfect but also the other thing was like I realized that I'm not very I don't really respond that well to threshold stuff but I respond really well to VO2 so I'm like do I just abuse VO2 and I know I get faster, which I sort of am quite guilty of doing before, but I think this time I really focused on just doing tempo and threshold stuff pretty early on. Um, so you can see here, it was like some good three hour rides, um, you know, like a couple tempo efforts and stuff like that. Um, so this was like three times 20 tempo, like 280 watts, 270 watts. So it was all like building, I guess, up to a peak. Um, and then the first time, I guess, I think I thought, oh yeah, actually like numbers are looking really good. Um, was when I did um, some efforts on Box Hill actually. Uh, they were, I think, eight minute efforts, but because I did eight minute efforts a lot, like when I say a lot, I mean, I used to do them every week, more or less, five times eight minutes. So I have a really, really good gauge of like what numbers they are, and I have a really good history, which I'll be able to show you in a minute on Training Peaks, about like, oh, we need to get rid of these files. Sorry, I can't really see them on the screen. Um, because they're just in the way. But anyway, so I have a really good history of like what my, my numbers are. So I know that like, you know, if I'm doing 325 average for my five times eight minute efforts, that means my threshold is about this. So you can see I did like, my threshold was 310 at this point. So I did 313, 318, uh, so that's the, that's the wrong one, 324, uh, 325. So then I was like, if I can do 324, 325, okay, the rest is significantly higher than it was before. But even so, I was like, actually, that sh that proves to me that I'm actually in quite good condition. And then we did a nice six hours, 20 minute ride there, which um, again, we'll show you, which I was, I was very happy about in terms of heart rate drift and some an effort towards the end of the ride. But that sort of showed me my endurance was back. Um, that was the other thing is like, oh, I'm not gonna show you now because it's too hard to show. But like my heart rate was getting back to like 135 for 200 watts, well before like 130 for 180, which obviously was, is a big improvement. And then here is, is I guess, the, the the time I knew that I was in really, really not the same condition, but I looked back to a ride I did about a couple of years ago and the numbers were very similar, 323, 323, 324, 323. So I was like, okay, my threshold is at least 320, uh, which is very very happy about. And then this ride here, again, I, I think maybe because I was so tired, but like, 142 for 209 normalized okay it's not perfect normalized but you know we can we can we can deal with that and 144 for 209 normalized so you can basically see i didn't get any heart rate drift for six hours on a 210 watt normalized ride that's quite good i think but i think it's also slightly messed up but i also did like an effort towards the end like i did um just 300 watts for 20 320 watts for, 20, for two minutes but i was like this doesn't feel that hard and it was towards the end of the ride so i was pretty content about that but now we'll go over to why i want to show you in training peaks so you know, if you know, like here, threshold of five times eight minutes, so what I do is you just type in five times eight minutes, click this button, and I'll, I have a file, is done by date of every single time I've done this interval. So I know like, okay, let's say I was like, okay, how fit was I in when I was doing these uh, towards the end of 2018? Um, okay, that is a useless one because it doesn't isn't actually a file. So we'll look at this file instead. So this was the twenty second of January twenty nineteen. So obviously two years ago, and I was absolutely flying. Like this was the the work I did, and I did a very similar bit build in terms of January. I did a four week on build and went from about eighteen to twenty to twenty two to twenty four, um, and that obviously set a really really good base for me. Um, but this year, if we look on the right hand side of the screen here, you'll be able to see, you know, it's like three twenty seven, three twenty eight. 325, 324. So you can see they were higher and I think my threshold at this point, but then the last one was like 317 or something. So it wasn't wasn't unreal. But my threshold then was like 327. So I sort of looked at that and was like, oh, actually like, okay, hang on a minute. This could be, this could mean I have some fitness. And then if I go back to like Australia in when I was there in 2018, um, you'll be able to also see like, I could, I knew my threshold then was like maybe 317. Um, so we can, we can have a look here that I did 304, um, 
three, 300. And I was like, okay, well, you know, like, and now I know roughly what my threshold is. Um, and then the last one I did was like 326. So I was like, okay, you know, we can, we can see what the threshold is. And then, you know, I do the FTP test, we hit 320 watts. Um, and now, you know, I'm 13 watts off what I, my best ever was. And I haven't done any VO2 really yet. I, I have five times eight people are like, maybe, but anyway, I haven't done like the classic 30, 15s and six minute efforts that I know just go boom on my uh, threshold. So anyway, it's very exciting news. I, I never really thought I was going to get back to the same fitness, to be honest. I like, in the summer, I was training a lot and I just didn't really make any adaptions. And I was just like, and I was living very well. I wasn't, you know, doing anything bad. I was eating very well, sleeping very well. I was basically living like full time right out. I had a job, but it was, it was very chill and it was like four days a week. So it was four days on, four days off. It's actually testing Corona. Um, hopefully that doesn't get the video demonetized. But anyway, um, and I was just like, I don't think actually I'm gonna get any faster. I was like, I think this is just like, I don't, either my power meters, because I've changed power meters, either my power meters don't read the same or like whatever. I was like, I'm just never gonna get back to 330 on um, FTP. But now I know I can do the last 10 watts. Like it's, obviously that's, it gets harder and harder and harder, but I know that now it is going to be going to be possible um, for me to do it, which is like really, really nice because it means that I don't have to like say, oh, this is what happened. Like I always have to prefix things with like, oh, I was really quick and I, and I crashed. But now it's like, no, nah, I just, I'm the same fitness. So anyway, it's really, really good news. I'm super happy. Um, and we're going to do a TT, a four week TT block. And we're going to go a 20 minute test on Tuesday. Keep your eyes out for that on my TT bike. And then four weeks, mainly on my TT bike, probably four days a week on the TT bike. And then we're going to do another 20 minute test and we're going to see what sort of gains we made. And then uh, it should be an interesting one. I think vegan cyclist is something pretty similar. And I'm like, big inspo of mine. So let's, uh, let, let's see if Charlie Carbon Cycling can do, probably not the same job, but a similar job. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you've got any questions, leave them below uh, and follow me on Strava and all, Insta and all the rest of them. And we'll see you in the next one.